Hi, this is Kamala Devi, and um, today's my last day in Paris. It's a little bittersweet. Um, I have come to love this swanky little apartment um, in the 10th arrondissement. <laughs> I have a hard time wrapping my lips around French words. Um, but we've had lots of adventures here, including um, French lovers. Um, and I wanted to talk today about matchmaking because my girlfriend Jen is a phenomenal matchmaker and we wanted to implement these skills in um, at Tantrapalooza. So the story starts at Zeg. Um, I was at a sex party and I was I was in a line full of like people dancing and we were playing and then this woman came and she pulled me out of the line and she kind of cornered me and she says I have a message for you she says see that gentleman up at the bar he um, is very attracted to you but is afraid to admit it so he asked me to be the messenger and wants to know if you want to get a room and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I don't even know the guy. He was very attractive, but uh, it, it, it really kind of took me back. And, um, and he and I didn't speak uh, the same language. So I thanked her. She, oh, she wanted to know uh, what should I, she tell him. And I said um, that I would go up to him and um, feel into it and... and get back to him directly. So when I did talk to him, I, I thanked him and told him I was flattered, but um, but that I would rather just kind of sit on the couch and feel out where our energy was. And it turns out, you know, our, our language barrier was so great that um, having a, a post man um, or a messenger is uh, a good thing. And then the next, the next morning at breakfast, um, I was in the cafeteria and a woman comes up to me in line and she says, um, the man that you're sitting by um, is really interested in having a date with you. Um, what should I tell him? And he was literally the guy I'd been talking to right before um, getting up to line. So I said, well, I'll talk to him directly. And again, it struck me as strange. So I went and I, I told him, I said, well, thank you for the invitation. Um, but why didn't you ask me directly? And he said, explained that he had you know a lot of admiration and was nervous and wasn't sure that he could handle uh, the rejection so he thought it was better to do to use a messenger um, and that he had learned that at another intentional community called Tamara which is in Portugal and then everybody at the at the um, breakfast table started talking about their experiences uh, with Il Postino, which is what they call the messenger in Tamara. And I just thought it was a fabulous idea, especially um, in poly communities, because not only does it save face, um, but for people who are afraid of asking for what they want, they um, it takes a lot of energy to like build up your confidence and then go ask that person, and if it doesn't work out, then you may feel like deflated and not have the energy to ask another person. And in Pali, you know, where we practice a lot of abundance, you want to ask and keep asking until somebody's a matching vibration. And uh, people told their stories of how it was to use um, a matchmaker. And one woman testified that her brother um, was a dwarf. He was disabled and that he found wonderful um it was a wonderful tool because he um was so used to getting rejection that having a matchmaker or a post person um gave him hope and an opportunity to be a lot bolder than he would normally and um and so i loved that and then my you know partner michael was like i don't need to be disabled i mean what a fabulous way of just um you know efficiently increasing the communication and um, and so so okay so we've devised this um, new idea for Tantrapalooza I told Jen and Tal about it and since like me Jen's Jewish she says oh my god it's like the perfect opportunity for someone who wants to be a Yenta 
um, which in uh, the Jewish culture is, is like a calling to really to want to be a matchmaker. So Jen agreed to be the Tantra Yentl and, um, and then I need to find one other person who will be designated um, post, you know, Tantra matchmakers. And at Tantra Palooza, which is our, our upcoming week-long festival, you'll have three options. You can um, you can tell the post person that you want to um, go on like a speed date, which would be like a 15 minute walk in nature to get to know that person, or you could say you want to um, share a meal with that person um, to get to know them, or you could um, uh, invite them to. Uh, play at the at a play party. There's lots of different things you could invite, but you could also just you know it could be a, as little as a talk, or it could be like, hey, you want to make out, and um, and then when you send the messenger, that person has the option to tell the messenger to give them a message back, or to come directly to you and and um, thank you and renegotiate you know another some terms of of the date, the speed date. So. We look forward to implementing this and also for finding our um, other Tantra Yenta. <laughs> and we uh, see, uh, can't wait to see how it works. All right. I'll be talking to you next from the USA. Love you. Mwah.